Hey, Eli here with Espo Photo. Welcome to another landscape photography expedition. I am on site at a location that I have actually been scoping for quite a while. I drive up and down I-5, you can probably hear it in the background. And this uh, grove of trees caught my eyes numerous times. And there also happens to be an old weathered Ford pickup truck over here that's just sitting here in this beautiful grove of oaks. So I became interested in this spot and decided to come check it out. They're actually going to tear this thing out and probably build a residence here. So not gonna be here forever. Looks like I just lucked out with my timing. Oh, one other thing that is pretty cool that I couldn't see from the highway is that right over here, and actually multiple places throughout this little grove of trees, there are um, a whole bunch of wildflowers that are about half bloomed. And I might have to, I don't know, try to come back at some point um, in the next week or two if the property owners will let me again so that I can uh, catch them in full bloom and just get whatever shots I need to with that compositional element. I'll show them to you right here. Pretty cool. Uh, just an unexpected treat. All right, so I've been snapping away as the sun is going down uh, after I got all my video footage uh, for B-roll. And what I've done is framed up a vertical shot here. Uh, I'm shooting at about F10. This fence has tons of cool moss and lichen and textures, and it's fallen apart. It's got barbed wire. It's just freaking awesome. And uh, I've sort of, sort of uh, placed the truck in a little pocket there uh, in between the trees and I've got the fence, the fence line sort of going from right to left, and then the trees are sort of surrounding the, uh, the truck. And um, there's a little bit of color in the sky. There's some clouds here. We've been in a heat wave, so it's been mostly clear, and all there are are just a uh, few clouds on the horizon to the west. Not a ton here, I'm looking south. But in any case, I'm shooting at uh, F10, and I'm stacking multiple shots uh, for HDR because we've got lots of dynamic range in the shot, but then also because the fence is uh, in close proximity to my camera, um, I'm having to take shots of the foreground, basically foreground right on uh, at the front of this fence, so I get all those nice, awesome textures there, and then a mid-ground uh, of this main post, and you can't see it now, you'll see it in the photograph, but it was getting side light, so it was all lit up and glowing. At, um, as well as the truck, which I'm focusing on, which was also getting that cool side light. Um, so mid foreground, mid-ground, background, HDR shots, mostly at F10, uh, and I'm just getting a bunch of different ones to make sure that I walk away with something good. It's pretty cool close up. I'm trying to get some shots with all the textures on the truck. It's got, it's like riddled with bullet holes and it's rusting and it's got lichen all over it. Anyway, uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick look here at uh, what I'm composing up close here. So it's just got all these bullet holes. Pretty cool. 
definitely a very fun thing to get, take photographs of. Hey, so I'm back on site. I've come back two weeks later and some of the photos I was taking right before I left, I'm really excited about. I ended up on the interior of the cab of this truck as there was the fading sunset light on the horizon, um, which I'll set up and show you in a moment. But the real reason that I thought it would be uh, very wise to come back is that there were camas starting to pop up around here and I freaking love this place. Totally rewarded. There's camas everywhere. All right, so what I've got framed up here is the shot that I took right before I left last time I was here. And basically, I've set up my uh, Z6 on the tripod right in the cab with my wide angle lens shooting at 17 millimeter uh, as a means to get as much of the cab uh, visibly in the shot as I can. Okay, so here it is. Um, I got kind of a nice echo chamber, so I hope that sounds good on the mic, but basically inside the cab of this historic truck, I've got the uh, windshield and the driver's side window sort of framed up in the upper side, the upper, uh, more, more than a third, but maybe a third on the left side, then it kind of opens up on the right side. And that's where we have all these textures, and I think that's the main focal point personally, is I love to look at all this broken glass, the way it's splintered, all the details in it. The interior of this truck relative to the exterior, there's a huge difference in the amount of light that's here, it being darker on the inside and lighter on the outside. And that's especially true in the daytime, although the cloud cover does help at the moment. Um, but I'm still having to take multiple shots, bracketed shots that I'll blend later in Lightroom. Um, but anyway, I was taking uh, a whole bunch of shots of this as I left the last time at 30 second exposures at F10. And I edited a pretty cool one, a uh, pretty cool shot, which I'll show you. Um, but I'll probably take a few more this time and, and, you know, just go with whichever one I prefer. One thing that uh, is definitely getting in my way is this seat still has its like bench seat in the front of this truck, still has a lot of springs. So every time I hit the shutter, it sort of starts to boing around a little bit and doesn't stop moving by the time the shutter clicks. So I have uh, framed up this shot with the Ford truck smack dab in the middle of my composition and I have the sort of 
wall of trees right behind it that's semi-symmetrical. I'm not sure I would call it entirely symmetrical, but you kind of have a couple on the left, one towards the middle, and then a couple on the right. Um, and then I chose not to go super close to the camas that's on the floor of the meadow um, just because the lower you go, the less of the truck you see. And I kind of like to be able to see its back wheels. Um, so it's not just kind of this huge blob sort of popping right out of the ground. The real issue I'm having is that it's a little gusty today. There's kind of this consistent, just above gentle breeze. And I'm having to jack my ISO up uh, to try to get a fast shutter speed with the kinds of apertures the smaller apertures that I'm wanting to shoot this with because it's landscape and I want to get as much in detail as I can. So with the really small aperture and the ISO jacked up to 250, 300, which is, I mean, that's more than I would like to shoot this scene with. Um, I can get a shutter speed of about 1 80th of a second and that's about where I'm hitting uh, everything sort of getting frozen in focus. Thanks so much for going on expedition with me. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to support my channel, or leave a comment in the sections below and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. I really enjoy sharing my photography with you all. Thanks for tuning in.